and welcome to Retro Tech 100. Here's a video just to show you that you can play RetroPie on an old CRT. Um, I've got two here just to see a picture quality and just because I could, you know, run it on two monitors using um, this switch I've got at the bottom. But that's not my point. My point is that you can download the ready-made image to let you use RetroPie on a CRT TV. But this ready-made downloadable image that you can use for CRT TVs is only 8 gigabytes, so you only need a small card. It's got a few systems on there and about 500 games, but you can always expand on that. What's really good is all the work's taken out for you. Uh, this image comes from Level 1 Online. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description down below. And he made the image. It's currently on ArcadePunks.com. I'll put a link to the image as well. He's done a great job here making this image viewable on your CRT. The way you achieve this is connecting to the AV port on your Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 3, and I'm using this Xbox 360S AV cable. But you can get other ones. This happens to be the one that's wired correctly. Some aren't wired correctly, some are wired differently. There's three poles on the three and a half mil connection. They have to be in the right order for this to work. I'll put a link in the description to where you get one of these on eBay as well. You might have them kicking about from old portable DVD players you might have had. So give them a try. You're not going to break anything. It's just worth a try. Download the image and put it on the SD card. Connect this cable to the AV connector on your Raspberry Pi 3 and connect to your CRT. Now, like I said, it's not easy to capture this picture. You're getting a more ray pattern on your screen. But I can tell you from my eyes that it looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any of the more ray pattern that you'll be seeing in this area here. None of that is visible to me. So um, obviously you'll have to see it in situ yourself or maybe on a bang and a loss on TV. I always had good luck filming that, but I'm not so much with this. By the way, this is another CRT I have. This is a 10 inch. Roadstar TV, it was a pound at the car boot, so say retro games expensive, not if you've got a Raspberry Pi, it isn't. The systems that we have on this card, a PC Engine, Capcom Play System, Arcade, you've got set up all games, favourites and last played, NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis on Mega Drive, 32X, Neo Geo, and back to PC Engine. You can obviously add to this the usual way that you would to add to your RetroPie setup by uh, taking ROMs and dragging them across your network onto your RetroPie. Um, I think 500 games is quite enough on there for a little image. You've got all your favourites here. And to be honest, it looks pretty amazing. If you're wondering how I'm managing to get it on two TVs, my, the left monitor is um, a professional grade video monitor and has a video in and a video out, so I can daisy chain it to the other TV. This is what I'll show you together because you can see, you know, it's just not this monitor, but it actually looks quite nice on a standard TV also.
So I think it's really great that you can pull a portable TV out of your cupboard and be able to play hundreds of games on this that you wouldn't normally be able to do. It's great that you can pull a long portable TV out of your cupboard and be able to play retro games on it, many hundreds on one system. Long live RetroPie, thanks to Level 1 Online for supplying this great image. This has been RetroTeam100, I'll see you next time.